welcome to this GoBrite functional configuration video covering an overview of Visit Configuration. In this video we will discuss what is required planning wise ahead of the main configuration and we'll be using a system that needs to be configured. As a system administrator you'll have access to the settings and we'll be able to come down to Visit. Within the Visit element there's three areas on the left hand margin you've got configurations you've got profiles and you've got terms and conditions so let's just concentrate on configurations within the configurations there's one default configuration already but you might want to add other configurations if you're working in a multi-site office for instance so but let's just take the default configuration when we open the default configuration, the left hand margin changes. So we've now into the general types of configuration questions. We've got types and that could be whether it's a contractor, whether it's a visitor, whether it's staff or whether it's any other sort of visitor that you might have coming into your organization. If you've got a badge printer, then for this configuration, you could be setting up badges and also at the bottom, there's mail templates. So you're going to need to create mail templates so that visitors can get information about your site visit um, ahead of their main visit. So let's have a look at the configuration just to talk it through. At the moment, the default language is English US. You can add in other languages you need to set a location. That location is set within your general locations area in the main software. And that needs to be ticked first before we can make this selection. You can choose what fields you want. So the default ones are the name, the email, the phone number, company name and license plate. But we could add in another field. So it could be badge number, for instance. And that would stay as a text field. At the moment, there's two sets of types set by default, meeting and job interview. And as mentioned, those could be changed when we start to look at types over on the left hand margin. And we've also got when we want the visitor data to be deleted off the system. So normally you'd go ahead and save that. In this case, I can't because we haven't set the location. But this is just the overview. If I go to types, then we can see those two types are on the side menu as well. And in this case, if I was just talking through the meeting, we've got meeting. It's enabled, which means it's going to show on the solution. And we've also got pre-registration. At the moment, that's not enabled. So we wouldn't be able, as part of our user profile, be able to invite visitors in as part of pre-registration and send them a mail. With that ticked, then we can then enable mail. And we can choose the mail template and we'd be able to choose how many days before that visit the email went out. So if we'd set a mail template on our left hand side, then we could select that at this point here. And this is why the visit side of GoBright needs a little bit of planning uh, before you start the main configuration. When we come down to the sign in fields area, these are our default fields that you saw earlier and you've got this broken down into kiosk and pre-registration so at the moment by default the name is required in both locations whether it's at the entry kiosk in reception or whether it's part of the pre-registration at the moment the email address is set to show on the kiosk and it's required with pre-registration, really because we're emailing out a mail template, if we've enabled that earlier on, then you would want that to be required as well. So you can see from this, it's a series of tick boxes 
dependent on the information that you actually want when your visitor arrives or if you're pre-registering your visitor. You can also have your sign-in host. So a selection of tick boxes depending on enabling the sign-in for the host um, so the person can come to the panel and choose the host for instance. And at the moment we've got this set to notify the host by email when their visitor has arrived. You'll notice there is um, an SMS environment as well. That would need to have credits purchased. We could take photographs if our panel has got the camera installed and we can have sign-in confirmation. So once I've signed in at the visitor panel, then we can choose a signing screen to say thank you for signing in as an example. If you have configured your badge, then we can choose the badge option at this point. So it would be printed out once that sign-in has been confirmed. Showed you terms and conditions early on and we've got terms and conditions. And if that's enabled, then you need to just select the terms and conditions that you created earlier on. So again, the reason for preparation when you're starting this visit functional implementation. And again, we've got different sign out options as well. Badges. You create the badge and you are deciding how you want the fields laid out as part of that badge. And for your mail templates, you're creating a mail template. Um, so in this default one, then we've got the actual user, and we've got the QR code, and we've got the little typing message at the end. If you want more fields, then you could add more fields as well. And whether that's an image, for instance, it could be a map of the actual environment that someone's coming to visit. So in all, the overview of the visit, it just requires that planning to be able to then con continue the complete configuration of the visit environment. So think about your mail templates, Think about the information you want from your visitors. Think about the terms and conditions. And if you've got a badge, how do you want the badge linked up as well? Thank you for watching this GoBright functional support video. If further support is required, please go to our website, gobright.com, and visit our help centre.